vlogging everyone. Today I am doing an unboxing of a couple of Colorverse inks and I'm also going to be doing a swatching of the two inks. So you may be able to recognize from the box that this is part of the Colorverse uh, Eyes on the Universe Season 7 collection. I, uh, you know, I was very tempted to get a variety of inks in this new collection because they're all very pretty, but I opted to go for the one that has Pillars of Creation, which is number 88, and Mystic Mountain. The Mystic Mountain is what they call a glistening ink, which is really just a, a sparkling or a shimmer ink. So I have a little knife off here to the side. Let's go ahead and open this up. And I wanted to try and preserve the elements of this box if I could. Okay, and then inside we have all these little space themed things here. And then we have this little booklet on Eyes of the Universe Season 7. I think this is all stuff from the Hubble telescope, images from the Hubble telescope. <clears throat> These are all images from that. Um, and here this shows you some of the other uh, collections here. Uh, I The other one that I was really very tempted to get was the Extreme Deep Field and NGC 1850. The 1850 is sort of a sparkle version of the Extreme Deep Field. At least that's what it looked like to me. They were kind of similar other than the, the shimmer in one. And then on the back here, there's some more. Oh yeah, and this Crab Nebula Horsehead Nebula. That one also looked nice. <laughs> there, there are so many beautiful inks in this collection, but I think that I probably will just stick with this one, at least for now. Oh, and this is kind of interesting. So I have gotten Colorverse inks before, but never in the set that they 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 have sets where it comes with a smaller bottle and a larger bottle. I've never gotten those before. So it looks like there's some little goodies here in this little bag. Let's see what we have. Oops. So this is a little bookmark and uh, looks like we have some stickers here that just show you the different, <clears throat> not necessarily the different colors, but the different themes for the things that are in this collection. And then this is a little pen holder. Oh, interesting. Not sure I would practically use something like this, but let's see if we can get it to work here. At least I would think that it would kind of, oop, that it would kind of loop around like that. Let's see. There we go. Yeah. And then suppose you could put a pen on there. That's my glass dip pen. This is my automatic pen that I'm going to be using. Looks like the larger the pen, the better it might sit in there. <laughs> All right, I'll put that off to the side. And then it, there's just like a, almost like a cocktail napkin with Colorverse on it, which seems kind of funny to me. Um, but I'm gonna put all of these little things off to the side here. And then let's get these bottles out. So it says pull up to open. Let's see if I can grab it somewhere. Oh, okay, so this whole thing comes out. And these things are kind of neat. I mean, I don't want to get rid of these. I'm not sure what I will do with the box. It's a very pretty box. And these are nestled down here in styrofoam, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but, um, and then you have a little space capsule of some kind down here on the bottom. So that's kind of fun. I'm going to put this back and the little goodies that came with this back into this box for now. Oh, and the little booklet. It's kind of fun. I mean, my only concern with stuff like this is it is a little bit wasteful because, especially because of the styrofoam. I'm I'm not a fan of styrofoam in anything because I just think it's really environmentally damaging and it like never goes away. So here is the larger bottle, which is Pillars of Creation, and then the smaller bottle, which is Mystic Mountain. And I can see some of the shimmer already in the bottom. Um, it looks like it incorporates really, really easily though. Um, just a little bit of shaking and it seems to go right in there. Oops. So let's, let's see. I have my ink swatch book that I normally put all my ink swatches in. Uh, I will put a link to the video where I cover this setup and all the tools that I'm using today, including the glass dip pen and the um, 
automatic pen will be linked in that video. So I already have some space here after my Waterman inks. And then I also got ready a couple of these coloring sheets to go ahead and do the sampling on that as well. I'll put these off to the side for now, but I'll bring them out as we sample them. Okay, so let's go ahead and start here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And I'll just put them one after the other here, or actually maybe I'll put them at the bottom because these two should kind of be separated, but together. I'm gonna do the Pillars of Creation first, since it's this larger bottle. And because it did come up quite a ways in elevation from wherever it came from, I'm assuming. It's uh, it had a little bit of a release of pressure sound there. Okay, oops, and then I put it up here. Oh, well, well, you know, best laid plans. It was just on autopilot there when I was doing that. This looks really, really nice. Looks like a really deep, almost maroon color. And actually, I'm not going to wipe that off. I am going to go ahead and do this little swatch at the same time, just so that we can use the ink to its best advantage and not waste it if we can. And I just created this square using a little square stencil. My hands are a little shaky today. It's almost lunchtime and I had a lot of caffeine with breakfast this morning. So I think I'm gonna have to stop drinking tea again in the morning because I think the teas that I've chosen are kind of caffeinated. And uh, I've definitely noticed an uptick in my migraines. So even though I love tea, it's, I think it's going to have to go to the wayside at least for a little while, or maybe I'll pick some um, less caffeinated options. So it does look like this might be fairly staining. I'm just trying to wipe off this tool here. It seems like it's sticking to it just a little bit. And then I'm going to put that off to the side again, and then go in here. When it's dry, it seems to be drying pretty dark. Let's see. And this is Colorverse, and this is Pillars of Creation. Oops, put that down there in the screen there. And this, it seems like you might want it to be a little bit more diluted than a really thick application because that seems to be super dark and you can't really see a lot of the nuance in the color. But let's see when it dries a little bit how it how it looks. It's really pretty though. Okay, oh, and I, again, I, I wiped off my little tool here. Oh, and you can see a lot of the shading that's happening, or I'm sorry, not shading, the sheen that's showing up on here. That's kind of neat. It almost looks like an Aurora Borealis at this point at the bottom here. So I'm going to go ahead and label this one as well. I'm wondering if this would work better or worse in um, a, a very thin nib or a, a fine nib. Let's see, so this is Colorverse. Snagged it there. Pillars of creation. Okay, and then I'm going to rinse my glass dip pen off again here. And you can see a little bit of the sheen showing up here while that's drying. It was a pretty thick coating of that ink there. And then now I'm going to try and do an ink ring here. I'm wondering if it'll let me do it because it does look like there's sort of a little uh, separation of the cap and um, the inside of the bottle. So let's see, because sometimes these caps are designed to prevent ink from getting on there. Although it looks like there's some there. So let me go ahead and try that. See how 
successful we are there. Mm, not entirely. Let me see if I can do it again. Go back in here with the... Because I didn't really press all the way out to the edges. No. Okay, so what I am going to do... Before I had a little dropper, when I've done this before and it hasn't really worked, I had a little dropper, but I think for this time I'm just going to do that. So I'm wondering if the other bottle will not work for that as well, just because it has this little indentation so that it has a step down to the spot that would block the ink flow to the rim of the bottle. And that's really just so your ink doesn't, um, doesn't leak down the side of your bottle and make a mess. So it's kind of nice that it has that. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry while we go on to the next color, this Mystic Mountain. It's, it falls, the shimmer falls to the bottom pretty quickly. So let's see if we can give it a fairly decent shake here. And then Open that back up. You kind of have to be fast because it does go down to the bottom. I'm probably going to shake it again before I go on to the sample for the, um, the sheet here. Oh, that's lovely. I wonder how small the shimmer is here because um, it seems to me that the finer the shimmer, the easier it'll flow in a fountain pen. So you could see it all fell, oops, or you couldn't see, it had all fallen to the bottom of the bottle again. I'm actually gonna put this off to the side for a minute and then do this little guy here. It seems to flow pretty well for a lighter ink, which is nice because that doesn't always seem to be the case to me. Okay, let's get some little dots of what's left in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna rinse that tool off. And I can already see some good shimmer showing up in that sample. It's a little too early to tell from what's in the, um, on the paper here. Okay, so I'm gonna put this off to the side and I'm actually gonna shake this up one more time because this time I'll show you, it's already all fallen to the bottom. And you kind of would need to do that in a pen too, or at least try to figure out how to, um, if you put it in a converter or something, it's gonna to fall to one side or another in your pen. So. You might want to figure out how to not necessarily shake your pen, but maybe move it a around a little bit to get that shimmer more well distributed. So this is Colorverse, and this is Mystic Mountain. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to put this off to the side. And then we'll label this one. Get that a little closer to the center there. Okay. Oh, I can see some shimmer showing up down in this sample too. So let's see. Mystic. Mountain. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to rinse off my glass dip pen and let's see this the inside of this cap has another little anti-spill configuration too. So I'm not sure we're going to be able to get a, a ring. I might like not I might um, 
I have not secured it tightly there. So let's see if we can get a little bit of ink in there. A little bit, let's see if this will work. And I think it dries fairly quickly, so you do kind of have to move fast. Yep, it's not ideal. So let me go ahead and just help this one along like I did the other. Just so I can get a pretty good representation of a layer there. And what's also kind of nice about doing the ink rings with the top of the bottle is that you can see how big your bottle is just based on the size of the ink ring. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so that I can put these back onto the book here. Okay, and so these two, this one, this one is showing tons of sheen. I mean, look at that. That's a lot, a lot of sheen on there. And the sheen is a little bit green, and then you have this sort of purple, um, maroonish color underneath. You're not really seeing that much sheen on the lettering. It's just showing up as that darker purple, mauve, whatever you want to call it. Still really beautiful though. And then here is the Mystic Mountain, which is also pretty much dry. It dried really, really fast, although it, it may be still a little bit damp, but you can see some of that shimmer there and uh, here as well. It actually showed up quite a bit there, but in the lettering, I'm not so sure if you'd be able to see. I can't even see the shimmer. I see maybe a couple of little specks of shimmer <laughs> from my angle. So there's that. And then let me show you. So the sheen did not show up as well here at all. It was uh, about the same amount of uh, ink I used on both. This only a little bit of sheen showed up and really it's just that darker color overall. This is Tamoe River paper, the thicker version. However, the shimmer did show up pretty well in the Colorverse Mystic Mountain, but I don't see any in the writing. And again, with this writing, it just shows up with this dark color. So, all right, well, there we go. These are such beautiful inks. I'm really happy that I got them. I'm gonna kind of play around with this one to see what kind of nib would be best suited for this ink. Um, I'm kind of torn between trying to show off the sheen and to kind of get some shading in there. You can see some subtle shading in here, but it's, and there's really no shading in the, in the writing. So I'm not even sure if I'll be able to get much. There is a little bit of shading going on with the Mystic Mountain. And I just think this color is amazing. And you can read the writing, which is always one of my issues with a lighter ink. But uh, that's it. I'll that's all I had for you today. So feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. I hope to see you next time. But in the meantime, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.